With the AI world finally coming of age, it's become one of the biggest questions. What's the defining factor between man and machine? It's a question researchers at New Zealand's Auckland University are attempting to answer with a groundbreaking project called Baby X. The idea is simple, create a highly complex computer program to imitate the neurological learning processes of a living, breathing human, albeit a two-year-old toddler. We're doing face simulations and brain simulations and putting those together to basically create these sort of holistic models of how we interact face to face and we're doing that for a couple of different reasons. One of them is explore how we tick, sort of like computational models of psychology. The other thing that we're doing is basically how does that affect things like human computer interfaces, like well, how can we make a teachable computer. The program is led by Mark Sagar in the Animate Technologies Division of the Bioengineering Department. Sagar came up with the idea to model an infant's brain after the birth of his own daughter. The thought is that teaching a computer the fundamentals of the brain would be much easier at a young age. If you're going to model essentially a human, you've got to start at the beginning. You know, so, so what's the simplest, simplest model that we can build? It's a, it's a baby. And then we can model step by step. So we don't have to deal with adult baggage, for example. We can really look at you know, what are the developmental processes that a baby has and, and model those. You know, just basic things like recognising an object or you know, responding to something. It's really starting as simple as possible. The Baby X software is designed to work on the traditional ideas of how all of us learn from childhood association, positive reinforcement and conditioning. The software uses an algorithm to stimulate electrical signals and chemical releases in the brain, chemicals that regulate emotion like dopamine and serotonin. The result is a 3D rendering representing exactly what the artificial brain is feeling. In a face-to-face -face interaction we're getting constant feedback, right? So. I'm getting constant information from you, how you're relating to what I'm saying and so forth. And that is the value of face-to-face -face interaction, which is, which is kind of missing. And so um, you, it enables much more efficient communication and the face is giving away you know, what your intent is, how you feel about something. The system uses a series of cameras and infrared sensors, baby X's eyes to the world, if you will, that makes for some pretty interesting interactions. Okay, so what we're doing here is babies making expressions just kind of randomly like babies do, but I'm responding to her. So she's kind of seeing how I'm relating to what she's doing and she's, she's just subconsciously associating that. And eventually it gets to the point where I make an expression and then she starts copying it herself. But she's also, all the expressions that you're seeing are being generated by neural networks. So basically we're getting combinations of things that she's learnt in just natural reactions. Now in this one here, what's happening is she's, we've connected her brain to the bat in the video game Pong. She doesn't know that, but she gets a reward every time she hits it. And so over time she just starts learning how to move the bat and play the game. So she's literally taught herself to play Pong literally by connecting that up. And this is kind of like when babies are flailing their arms all over the place, they're kind of learning those, those sorts of mappings. Sega says the advantage of Baby X is by modelling how humans actually think and work. The system's interaction with humans in the real world will be much more consistent as opposed to the canned responses in existing interactive computer programs. How do we put humanity back into technology? And you know, there's multiple reasons that you want to do that. As machines become more prevalent, then the social interactions machi with machines is going to matter. And you know, if you think about responsible use of AI, if the, if the machine is socialised, then it's going to be a better machine because it, it's, you know, it, can, it can learn good from bad through people. Whereas you know, current AI things is like amoral. It, there's no good or bad, it just learns whatever. Whereas how we learn is we literally learn through, through social reactions. You know, so, oh, that was bad, that was good, whatever. And I think that as we go on into the future, that stuff's going to be more and more important. The team has already christened Baby X in the real world environment during a TED conference in Auckland and have begun creating an adult model of the program. 
That system has had mixed success. I don't understand. But they say Baby X's commercial potential could be huge. There's almost infinite application because it's kind of like we're looking at aspects of, of, of human to human interaction and kind of building that into machines. So anything that humans do, we can touch upon. So some of the examples are education, for example. How do we make a, a computer that maybe a child can teach? or it can teach a child that it can interact with without having any special skills or anything like that. So as a human-computer interaction, how do you make that much more natural? And while Sagar says this joyful toddler is far from developing capabilities of world domination, he thinks Baby X technology could potentially be used to allay any perceived threats from AI in the future. Because we're adding that humanity into it, um, I think it's actually people people think that that's the right approach. If you just think about the alternative, the alternative is just sociopathic or, or psychopathic machines which have no social responsibility. There's no consequence for their actions. So I think that really will matter more and more. And, and so the human element, you know, it, it, it gets into really interesting areas because with the types of faces and things that we build, you start getting an emotional connection to essentially a, a machine. For now though, Baby X still has a little growing up to do. Hey sweetheart, hey, what's this, what's this, what's this? Good girl, well done, yeah. <laughs>